Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patera with you today. A quick tip and video for you to help you with your cast iron cleaning. You know we're going through this whole deal of cooking with cast iron on wood stoves. We do it often anyway. We love our large cast irons and we are cooking on the wood stove outside because we're testing the food storage. Well, that means I've got a lot of cast iron to clean every single day and to make sure that it's in tip-top shape. Well, Miss Homestead Lady do, 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 has come to the rescue, which I knew she had this, but I had not ordered one yet. She has this strange metallic feature hanging above her sink with all of her beautiful cast irons abound, and this is what it is. It's called Chainmail, okay? And this is the company that sells it. I'm not speaking for them per se, um, because they're asking me to. I don't know them from Adam. I'm just telling you what I'm finding to work. And if Miss Homestead Lady says to try something because she's been doing it for a long time, I'm at least going to give it a try, right? Folks, I'm finding this thing to be the bomb, okay? So I'm in here cleaning cast iron, and I was like, we got to do a video on this. Hello? So this is what it looks like. It's called all these uh, stainless steel chain links together. So if you have cast iron and you know that you need to clean it after you use it, a lot of times we get those large, thick brushes. And those are great. They really do work well for a while. And then they start to get super yuckathon. And I'm sorry, that just, you know, whatever. So here's the deal. You're going to use this and you're going to scrub your cast iron with it. Folks, that's stainless steel, okay? And it's hard mesh. I mean, you're like a knight in shining armor here, okay? And you're going to scrub the cast iron. Scrub it, scrub it, scrub it. You don't have to use soap, anything weird. Of course, you don't do that with your cast iron. And then you're going to rinse this out and dry it. You can put this in, uh, on occasion. Um, you might want to wash this in the top of your dishwasher. Okay? It's stainless steel. And just set it in there real evenly to where it won't get knocked around or broken or bound. Um, but that's what Miss uh, Homestead Lady does. That's how she washes it. You can wash it with soap, warm soapy water. Just rinse it really well. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. Okay? So after I clean this, I've got another one over here, which is carbon steel. Um, a, large, a large cast iron carbon steel. This works fantastic in it. And then, of course, uh, somebody had biscuits and gravy today. So, nonetheless, you're going to put warm water in here. This one's not as bad. This is just where I was, and I said, I have got to make a video on this. This is what I fried up my canned bacon in. So, you're just going to put, and I've already taken the what's remaining of the bacon out. I kept all my drippings because, you know, it's fine eating. And I'm cleaning it up. See? Sadie's barking in the background because she might smell bacon. And you're just going to do like so. Okay? See this? You're just going to keep working. So, you may have to rinse it twice. Just depends. spot there. A little stubborn spot from where the bacon was working. I've got the warm water. Folks, it doesn't hurt it. As long as you're taking care of your cast iron, keeping it dry, keeping it seasoned. It's just that simple. Sadie, do you want to be in the video? All right, guys, that's it. We're going to dry her up. We're going to get her a little oil, and I'm going to go sit her back out there near the fire so she just slowly sits and resonates. And that's how we clean our cast iron here at Appalachia's Homestead. You're up next, baby. That's how we clean our cast iron here, and we are loving it. Thank you to Miss Homestead Letty for the hint. We love it, love it, love it. I'm going to put a link in the description below on where you can get this. I believe, uh, were they $9, $9, $9 to $10 each? And uh, Miss Homestead Lady has one that she's been using for three years now. Three years. So I ordered myself two, and I ordered her an additional one to have as a backup. 
because I wanted to have a backup in my pantry. So that's what we're going to do here. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. We appreciate you watching as always, and we will talk to you soon.